Hi friends, welcome back! So today I want to show you my completed pages and in the title you can see um, completed pages of October and November but to be honest um, these are my pages from October because in November I haven't colored at all. Um, I wanted to show you those pages in the beginning of November but then there was no time and um, so I will just present them to you now. So let's get started with the first one that I want to show you. They are in no specific order this time. Um, so this the first one is from Coloring Heaven Gothic Fairy Special by Mika Julina. And um, from this book I did a glossy wings tutorial. On the wings you can see I've used the glossy wings. Um, ah. On the wings you can see I've used glossy accents and I made a video for that to show you how to apply it and yeah, how to achieve this shiny look and also how to achieve the color combination. So if you're interested I will link it down in the info box for you. Um, on the background I've used Neo Color 2. I, I tried um, the autumn set which was new, but um, the background was pretty he pretty heavy um, shaded, grayscaled, and I have to say you can also see on, on the uh, dress that the grayscale um, yeah, um, changes the outcome of the colors, so the colors are not that vibrant, so I have to say that I not enjoyed it too much to work on this heavy grayscale picture and um, yeah but other than that I think the outcome looks quite okay um, yeah stickles on the dress down here a little bit then you had a sneak peek already of this page this is by Anis Guerrero um, from her patron um, site I'm a pet patron of hers, and um, yeah, this is Belle, so a Disney um, fan art, I would say, I don't know, but yeah. So I colored her as Belle with a yellow dress, and on the background I've used um, Pit Pastels by um, Faber-Castell. tried them the first time, and I liked it. It's a quite quick process. Um, and on the hair I've tried out the Durvent Light Fast pencils, which were quite new. I just bought some brown tones to try them out and I have to say I, I like them. And it's the first time that I successfully did a skin with luminance pencils. <laughs> and yeah, I have a little bit of stickles here on the dress and yeah, I hope you like it. I think there's nothing else that I could tell about it. I've used um, Strathmore toned grey paper um, to color this on, so this takes a lot of layers. But yeah, it was fun. Uh, then of course I've worked in the Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn. Um, yeah, as you all know, I love to work in Hannah Lynn books um, at the moment still and um, okay so this is a work in progress I just did um, a hair color combination on this I have mapped out the um, colors for this page but wasn't able to finish it then I finished this one those of you who follow me on Instagram um, have seen this page I think um, I've used a lot of stickles as you can see so um, I have to say that is the reason why I love to um, show my pages on video because here you can see all the sparkle and all the glitter and um, on a photo you can't see that so I have some glossy accents on those little candy corns I made a um, color combination video for her red hair. Um, I will link this down in the info box if you're interested in that. 
Um, yeah, the page is quite colorful as you can see with the traditional Halloween colors like green and acid green, purple and um, orange. And on the background I've used the Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils. I have to say that was also quite fun to use it and I, I like the result basically, I think. Yeah, I have a little bit of bleed through on the other side here. Some some persons are interested in that kind of stuff, so I'm showing it here. And of course the page buckled quite a lot because yeah, I think I've used quite some water and the paper is quite thin in those Hanalim books. And I have another page, this one. This page was a work in progress for the longest time, I think since one and a half year years. And I just finished it uh, in September, basically, already. Oh, I finished it in September, I see, but I didn't show it in my September completed pages. And uh, the only thing that was missing was all this leafy stuff here, the apples, the cat. Yeah, and I think that's it. And I've used um, polychromos and prismacolors on this page. I have used... Um, Perfect Pearls and Wink of Stellar and Glitter Gel Pen here on the hat of the cat, for example, or here on this little butterfly. And I think I did a marker base as well. Yes. And yeah, I'm so happy that this page is finally finished and I have to say that I'm quite pleased with the result of it. Especially with all this leaf um, stuff down here. Um, yeah, quite happy with it. And then I started, yeah, I saw the video from Dream in Color Sky and she uh, has a color along for this page on her channel and uh, yeah, so I was inspired to start this page too but as you can see I haven't colored a whole lot on this page um, there just wasn't enough time just did the uh, the red hair color again this is basically the same color combination that I showed you on the other page so if you like it you could follow it and um, yeah that's my pic these are my pages from Hannah Lynn and then of course I've worked in the Halloween book by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths um, she also has she the cutest pages and um, yeah let me show you I did the faceless ghost this is how it looks and I have filmed the complete um, coloring process for you I basically wanted to do yeah some kind of color along for this page and I uh, had finished it on the 3rd October already so that there was enough time to edit it and bring it out in October for you but unfortunately I sucked with the um, with the editing process just was too lazy and um, yeah but this will come anywhere next year I think I hope um, yeah I think it's not too Halloween like it's a little bit scary of course but other than that I think it's um, it's okay and I've used the ink tents on the background and I haven't used the ink tents quite a lot uh, still. So I'm quite happy and pleased with the result. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, then used Prismacolors of course and um, the shiny thing around her head is um, Perfect Pulse again. Maybe a silver gel pen would do the same effect. I'm not quite sure about it. And uh, yeah, but that's uh, it. And yeah, then there will come a video for this page if you're interested in it somewhere in the future. And then I've got another work in progress in here. Um, this page. And I have this page because I was trying out the skin combo. I wanted to have a really light, like um, white skin combo. And this was a page where I tried out this color combination to find a good combination which I've used on the other page. And um, so I have this page started 
and I think I would finish this next year as well. I won't wait until the Halloween time because I think, yeah, this is another page which can be colored anytime. It's not too Halloween like for my taste, so um, this is going to be finished next year. Oh, and now you will only see my uh, work in progresses. I think that's all that I finished. That's quite sad, but yeah. So another work in progress in Coloring Haven Halloween special from last year. Um, this page was very much inspired by our lovely Wee from Coloring at Wee's. Um, I saw this page in her completed pages uh, video from September already, I think. And yeah, then I really wanted to to um, start this page. And on the background, I also used the um, Neo Color too. Um, I I have a video about that if you're interested how I did the background. And um, yeah, I used the Autumn set, which was quite new then, and for me it was new. So try that out. Yeah, and colored a little bit of it, but as you can see, unfortunately, not finished yet. But I think this page might wait until next year. I just want to finish her blues because I've started it and I don't want to forget the color combination that I use here. So I might finish her blues or her dress. And yeah, the rest I might finish maybe then next Halloween. And there was a person, um, she said that I have no bleed through. And I do have, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little bit of bleed through in the um, areas where I've used a little bit more water so so I also have bleed through but um, I try to um, to move around on the page when I did it so that um, certain areas don't get too wet at, at a time and I first did a base layering and after I had um, Resolve this with water. I um, I left it. I, I I let it dry completely, and then I started with the dabbing of the leaves, and I tried to move around so that um, the the areas uh, don't get too wet at a time. Then here's another printed one, another work in progress, and um, this I've printed on um, cans and methane's paper and the page is by Jumpuff? 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 I would blend in the name Jumpuff I think she's called and um, you can check her out on Etsy if you like she has the really the cutest pages um, this was a freebie and yeah, I um, recorded um, the coloring process because I wanted to do a speed coloring with this page. Our time lapse. I mean, a time lapse video on my channel. But um, yeah, as I said, this methane paper takes a lot of layers, and this is a lot of fun when doing the details like the pumpkins or her dress or things like that or this little hat. It's all fun. But when you start to work on larger areas like the um, grass area down here, no fun at all. Um, yeah, so that is why I suck to um, finish this page and um, yeah, uh, bring a um, time lapse video for that in time. But who knows, maybe I can finish it for next year, Halloween, and then give you the, uh, the time lapse. We will see. But that's how it looks so far. And um, by the way, on the pumpkins I've used the Helen Alliston um, tutorial. Very good tutorial. I find those pumpkins look really nice. Really like the color combination that she gave. And um, yeah, I totally um, recommend her tutorial books if you're interested. And then I've got a page by Jana Ferry Art, and yeah, this is just for me. I got the Ohuhu markers um, recently. Um, I bought them for my birthday, and um, because yeah, I've got a few um, 
Copics, but you all know Copics are quite expensive. So you can't, yeah, I can't afford, um, I can't afford too many um, colors, and it's difficult to find nice color combinations if you don't have a whole set. So uh, for the um, Copics, I just buy. Um, like when I see a nice color combination used by someone um, then I go for those exact colors for example the hair this is a color combination by Colin and Chat with Sammy for blonde hair and it looks really good really like it but um, yeah with the um, copy that I have I couldn't find uh, my own um, combinations and so I thought okay why not I will buy the Ohuhu markers they are not very expensive you get a lot of markers for not too much money basically and of course you can't replace them you can't refill them so it's uh, for one time use but I thought for just trying out um, some color combinations and to play with with markers so that I could do like um, a complete picture with markers and not because basically with the um, Copics most of the time I just do base layering because I don't have enough uh, markers to, to combine them but yeah I wanted to tr to play a little bit more with markers so and yeah this is the result there are areas that I like and areas that I don't like so much but I think it's okay for my uh, as I'm not very experienced with them, I think it's okay. Um, oh, let me know if you are interested in uh, me doing a video with Ohuhu markers. So, uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see something on my channel with Ohuhu markers. And then, my last work in progress is from Botanicum by Maria Trolle. And at the moment, I'm working on. Um, this page by Maria and just yesterday I brought out a snow video so how I call it the snow here this shall be a night scene so um, the snow is colored a little bit yeah darker more shaded and um, there were quite a few people asking if I could do the complete page on video um, because I basically wanted to do the background off camera, but as so many, yeah, so many, it's a little bit not so many, but a few people are interested in me doing the com the background on the camera and the complete page on camera. I thought, yeah, why not? I will do that. So stay tuned. Uh, I hope this will be my next video, the background. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid of doing the candle in the jar. Uh, let's say I'm excited because never did that before. And yeah, it will be my first time and I hope I will find a nice color combination for that and a nice technique. But you will see it. And um, yeah, I think that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. This would show me that um, you liked it and it will motivate me to continue. Uh, yeah, If you want to share some thoughts with me, share them in the comment section below. Check out the info box for uh, more video links and um, yeah, stay healthy and see you in my next video. So, bye!